This is a battle set scene that we're looking at here. There's Black Panther and the Daredevil, Thor and Doctor Strange, all teaming up to take on an alien invasion. So this would be 50 feet long. When Jeffrey Verigay got the color proofs for his Smithsonian mural, which mixes Native American motifs, even slalom words with Marvel superheroes, he knew exactly who to share them with first. Christina was Captain Marvel. Presley was my model for Spider-Man. The people he has known all his life on the Port Gamble Sklalem Reservation. This is where it all began for Jeffrey, a boy who loves Star Trek, now one of the most sought after artists in the world of comic books. I say I'm a storyteller. I'm doing the same thing that my ancestors did uh, hundreds of years ago. I'm talking about gods. I, I'm just doing it with characters that we know and grow up with. The native element is my telling the story. What sets Jeffrey's work apart is his use of form line. Now this took patience to create. Instantly recognizable here in the Northwest, the indigenous art form dates back thousands of years and can be found all over the res, in paintings, totem poles, and on a huge mural outside the reservation school. Yeah, crescents within the ovoids here, I use those. But even from the start, as a teenager taking his first lessons at the canoe shed, Jeffrey could not stick to traditional art. I never could follow the rules whenever I do art. I always want to do some kind of twist on it. With a degree in industrial design from the Art Institute of Seattle, Jeffrey set aside what he learned at the res so he could design action figures. An artist goes his whole life trying to figure out who they are. It was only after studying with a master of form line that Jeffrey found his way, learning the rules and how to break them to substitute capes for feathers. The shapes that he's using are similar to the shapes that I'm using, the ovoids, the split U's, the crescents. Jeffrey Verrigan, updating a thousand-year-old art form and giving new life to gods and heroes. I get to work on worlds that I've loved since I was a kid, and I get to create my version of that. That's something that every artist that ever has been a fan of something dreams about, is adding to these legacies, and I get to do that. Thanks, Saint.